Hey guys and welcome back again to my channel and to another video. So I received some comments from you guys about exactly how I do my farmhouse signs getting into a little bit more specific detail on the process. So I thought I would start just a simple video series on exactly how I do my signs from start to finish so that you can make farmhouse signs on your own. So I want to break these videos up into three or four separate videos. So today I'm going to be starting with exactly how I create the designs I do for my farmhouse signs, how I use Cricut Design Space fonts that I use, um, the lettering, how I create those. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. So the first thing that you want to think about when you're starting to create your own sign is of course what you want it to do, what you want it to say, the size that you want. So once you have a size, once you have a saying or quote or picture or image in mind that you want your sign to look like, then you can go to your computer. We'll go into Design Space now and I'll give you a quick tutorial on how I do these. So the first thing I'm going to do when I get into Design Space is click on New Project. The process that I usually follow is this. I will go into this button over here on the left that says shapes and I will click on that and then I will hit a square. There's a button up here where you can unlock the size and you can also type in dimensions of a box. So say I wanted a sign that was uh, 10 inches by 10 inches. I'll go 10 for the width and 10 for the height. So then I kind of have a background of the size of sign that I want. You can zoom out if your signs are bigger, you can zoom out. And you can also go up here in this button and change it. We'll go to a light gray um, just for this. For this sign I'm just going to do some text. So I'm going to go into the text box here and it will come up with a little text box down here. For this video we're going to make a sign that says Hello Spring. So I will type in Hello for my first portion and it's going to come up down here as you type it. So I'm going to move it up here. For fonts there is a font drop down box up here top left hand corner. I'm going to drop down and use my filters up here and I'm going to click on my fonts. Those are the fonts that I have put on my computer. Um, so there is a font that I installed recently and it's called skinny font so I'm going to type in SK skinny font so I'm going to change that to skinny font and also you can just drag the size that you want I'm going to add another font for my spring so we'll go back into the text box and type in And as you can tell here, I have it in a completely different font. This one is Magnolia Sky. You can go and change that to a good feeling script. We'll go into that. And we'll just move it up here. See how these letters are kind of separated? You can decrease that. There's a box up here that says letter space. So if I decrease that, all these letters that are separated are going to come together. And that's an easy way just to connect all of your script fonts because some of them just when you type them in they do not connect. Now this G is still hanging out here so I'm going to show you an easy way you can connect that. I'm going to move it off my box. And I'm going to go up to the right side and click ungroup. Now what that's going to do is going to ungroup all of these letters and make them each a separate entity from each other. So you can see the G is now free form and I'm just going to move it over and connect it to my spring. You can also move your other letters. You can resize your other letters um, however you want. Then when you have the exact font you want, you'll, you can select the whole selection and group them back together. And then they are grouped back together. And then you can resize them the same way.
I'm going to move this over here. There's a button down here called Weld. It makes all of these letters attached so that when your printer goes to cut out these letters, it doesn't cut them out one at a time, separate. It cuts them out as a one continuous text. Otherwise, you're going to have these little breaks when you go to pull your vinyl off from your mat and it's just going to be a lot messier. So I always hit weld and that's just going to make sure that this is all going to pull off as one design. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change this background to white. I'm just going to move this box out of the way. Um, so I'm going to go up here to the right hand corner and click make it. So now it's going to ask you to set your material. For most projects that I do with my farmhouse signs, I use the vinyl setting um, that cuts the best of in everything I've tried. But you can go up here, you can browse all the materials. Um, and it just comes up with a drop down box of all the materials that this Cricut machine will cut. So I hope I have inspired you guys to start your own projects. And coming up in the next video, I will show you how I choose my materials, what kind of materials I use for my signs, where I get my materials, and also how I cut my materials and the sizes that I sometimes use, including the framing for my signs. So I hope you'll subscribe and click the bell if you've not subscribed to my channel to get notified of all the next upcoming videos. So I'll see you guys in the next one.